John here guys and today we're talking about how delightful when you pop open a refreshing can and have a double fisting. Well if it's the weekend and you need your RC fix, forget about your thirst and worry about what getting one of these cans of RC goodness. Now if you're old enough to remember zip zaps, those were these little can in a car. Hey, nice car. Zip zaps have mutated. Can in a car. Can in a car. Can. Car in a can that you could have bought at Radio Shack back in the day. Radio Shack, what's that? Well, we used to get in our covered wagons and ride over there to buy our RC parts there back in the day. There was no drones, it was all about RC cars. And getting an RC car that was about the size of a Matchbox car was really excellent and fun. The little transmitter that this comes on is really cool. It's just a little square. It doesn't have a steering wheel, but what can you expect for only 10 bucks? That's right. These are normally only about 10 bucks, maybe 12 if you don't catch it on the right day, but that's amazing for getting a little RC car experience all in this tiny little can. When you open it up, you got four little cones in there that you can set up to make your own little track in the living room or on your desktop during Zoom meetings. Um, you'll be looking like you're paying quite good attention to the subject matter at hand as you're going like this. You may even get a promotion. So <laughs> the antenna's in there, the remote control car fits in there. It's really cool. So each of these has a little compartment that opens up on the end that has a plug that charges it. There's two AA batteries that go in there that actually charges this tiny little car up. Um, and once it's fully charged, you're ready to go. You plug in the antenna, turn it on, and it is gonna just go, go, go. Now it is pretty cool that it actually has working headlights for and tail lights for such a low price. Like that's amazing. Uh, I did find one of these better than the other. If you look at them both, the WL Toys version seems to have smaller wheels. It had a harder time turning. It seemed to turn okay to the left, but not really so much to the right. But I mean, for 10 bucks, what do you expect? It's still plenty fun and you can navigate it around the table just fine. I did seem to have a lot better control. Speed-wise, they were about the same. I had a lot better control with the Create Toys version. I think it's just because the wheels are a little bit bigger. So if you had to pick one, pick the Create Toys option. Um, I mean, it's just excellent fun guys 10 bucks buy a couple of these right around your living room race against your kids or your friends or your buddies or your co-workers get everyone one while you're working from home and you can all have races um, just like you used to in the old days now if you have the means i do recommend this turbo racing 176 scale car you can see it's quite a bit smaller um, but this actually has fully proportional steering so you will get a much more automotive, uh, fully hobby grade RC experience out of this, even though it's tinier. Um, but this is like 60 to $70, whereas this is closer to $10. So it's up to you on what your RC tiny desktop budget is. What are you doing in the comments? Are you getting some of these little cheap ones right here? It really just takes you back to those Radio Shack days. If your kids or your nephews or yourself hasn't been to Radio Shack in a very long time or ever, now is the time to introduce them to the past. I wish it was just as easy to take um, kids today down memory lane as it is to just spend 10 bucks and get a piece of your childhood to show them. It's not like you can just take them into a blockbuster to go rent the Princess Bride for the 500th time. Uh, but this is one way that you can be transported back for just a couple of bucks. Thanks guys.